glad we went to church today. Yeah, that was all right. We ought to go every Sunday, you know it. Well, the only trouble with me is I worked all during the week, and then I was tired on Sunday. The Kingfish said that he going to drop by here as soon as he take his way home. The Kingfish was suddenly dressed up. Mm -hmm. Boy, that high silk hat that he had on done seen his day. All the silks done wore off the thing looked like the moth been eaten. I bet he had that long tail coat that he wears for 25 years. Yeah, I guess that is pretty old. I was sitting about 10 feet away from him, and I could smell mothballs. Uh, what did you put in the plate when they passed it around? I put 10 cents in there. Somebody put a dollar in there, you see that? No, no, they start out with that dollar in there. What do you mean, they put a dollar in the plate before they start out? I don't know who's going to put a dollar in there. That bunch that was down at church this morning ain't put no dollar in there, I know that. Uh, that's the preacher, though, that uh, was going to marry you and Little Park in it. That's what she thought. She told me that he was a good preacher, and when we got ready to get married, that he was special aid at the wedding. Did he marry her when she was married before? He married her three times before. The other two times, she run away. He come from there running away with you. By the way, is your hood boat or anything yet? All I know is that the case comes up after the first of the year. You ain't talked to your lawyer yet, is you? No, I ain't said nothing to him yet. When the kids come up in court, can I go down to court with you? Oh, yeah, you can go down there with me. That ain't gonna do no good. I got a woman suing me for breach of promise. What do you want to start talking about that for? I don't know. I, I, I didn't mean to talk about it. I was just wondering if you done heard anything yet, do I? Wait a minute. I guess there's the kingfish now. Come in, come in. Oh, hello there, hello King there Kingfish. Hello there, Kingfish. Hello, boys. Hello. Oh. How is you? Boys, uh, shake hands with my friend here. Uh, this is Mr. Hubbard, Mr. Stanley Hubbard. This is Amos Jones. Glad to meet you, Mr. Hubbard. Glad to meet you. Brother Jones, I'm glad to know you. And, uh, Brother Hubbard, uh, this is Andy Brown. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yes, sir. Brother Brown, I'm glad to know you, too. Take off your coat, uh, Brother Hubbard. Yeah, take off your coat. And make yourself at home. Amos, where's all the chairs? All the what jail? We ain't never had no one but that one right there. I'll take your coat, Brother Hubbard. Sit on the bed there, Kingfish. Uh, Brother Hubbard, you can have the chair. We are kind of short on chairs today. I don't know what's happened to the chair. Well, boys, uh, Stanley Hubbard here, I call him Brother because he is just the same as his brother. He is going to join our Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, you going to join the Mystic Knights of the Sea, huh? Yeah, the Kingfish has talked to me along the lines of going into the work, and I have done place by application with the Kingfish. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, you see, uh, Brother Hubbard, uh, he used to live in St. Paul, and since he's moved down here to town, I was saying to him that all the big businessmen around town belong to the Lord, and I want him to join so that he can meet some of the big businessmen. Oh, oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, glad to hear that you was going to join up with us there, brother. Yeah, that's all right, Mr. Hubbard. Uh, say, Kingfish, how is everything coming along down the lodge anyway? Oh, the work is going on bigger and bigger all the time. You know the Christmas baskets that we give away this year? I was just telling Brother Hubbard, that as long as we is going in the Lord, and as long as he is going to join the Lord, uh, we would stop by over here and get you two boys to tell him some of the wonderful things that the Lord is doing. Oh, well, uh, go ahead, Amos. Uh, tell Brother Hubbard there about it. Uh, well, uh, 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 sit down over here, Brother Hubbard. Yeah, sit right down here. Come, come over here, will you? tell you, I ain't much on telling stuff like that, Andy. Why don't you tell it? Well, boys, the Kingfish has told me what a wonderful lodge it is. I always wanted to get in a big lodge and meet the different members. A funny thing that's happened to Brother Hubbard. Uh, he gave me $10 with his application, and I think I remember him giving me the money, but I don't know whether I turned it into the lodge or lost it. I can't seem to find it, so Brother Hubbard has done said that to make sure that everything is all right, 
he is going to give me 10 more dollars because it might have been that he didn't give it to me the first time, you see. Oh, you done lost the first $10, huh? He going to give you 10 more, huh? The next 10 to give you, though, Kingfish, you don't want to lose that. No. Oh, no, the next $10 that Brother Herbert give me, I was going to take it home and let my wife keep it from me. Oh, oh. Uh, you from St. Paul, huh? That's, uh, that's near Minnesota, ain't it? Yeah, St. Paul is in Minnesota. Yeah, I thought it was either close to it or in it or something like that. How is everything up in St. Paul, Brother Hubbard? Yeah. Well, business is pretty good. I used to belong to a lodge up in St. Paul, but the conditions got so bad in the lodge that I had to get out. Yes, Brother Hubbard was a member of the St. Paul Order of the Royal Brothers of the Lightning Bug. The Lightning Bug. Was that a good lord? Well, the principles behind the order was good, but some terrible things went on. The chief Lightning Bug, who was the high officer of the lodge, was taking the money. Oh, yeah, he was, huh? Andy, can you imagine the officers taking the money? Yeah, I can imagine it all right, yeah. Yeah, that was bad already. What else went on up there? Well, I don't know. So many things went on. Every time the lodge made any money, they couldn't find it after they made it, and the secretary would lose the money. The secretary would lose the money? How careless of the secretary. The secretary would lose the money up there, huh? Yeah, and then the officers of the lodge, when the money would come in, they would get together and we found out that the high lightning bug of the lodge was dividing the money up with the other lightning bugs. And the first thing we knew, all the money was gone and the officers was buying automobiles. Boys think, how could the men running the lodge at that way? The officers was taking the money. Mm -mm. Not only that, but the lodge hall where the boys used to have the meetings was stripped of everything. The members used to take home the chairs, the tables, put a deck of cards out to play cards. You couldn't find them after the game was over. They take everything, huh? Why, we had one room up there that we put some new wallpaper on, and before it got dry, some of the members done scraped it off and took it home. Wonder they didn't pull up the floors. Yeah. Why, we had a rug up there, boys, that somebody donated to the lodge, and the rug disappeared. Boy, as you can see, that Brother Hubbard here has done had a sad experience. He has been in a lodge that has taken every advantage of the brothers. Oh, but yeah. now, we are going to take Brother Hubbard into our great fraternity, the mystic knights of the sea. We are going to take him in our arms, protect him, and welcome him as a brother in that great fraternity. Oh, boys, it's wonderful and lucky for Brother Hubbard that we found him when we did. You folks ain't leaving, is you? Well, Amos, Brother Hubbard has spent all these years in the lodge of St. Paul working with the officers and the brothers. I am going to take him round and introduce him to the officers of our lodge. Brother Hubbard, good luck to you. I just want to say that you ain't seen nothing till you meet the officers of this lodge. As soon as we catch the secretary, I want you to take a good look at him. Get it, the secretary, Andy. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, find him or get him. Uh, He's in jail, ain't he? But not our secretary, Amos. Well, he was in jail. Yeah, the secretary was in jail for taking the money. That's what they put him in jail. But he took all the money.